In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to rearrange windows in sunlight. Um, I found it a bit of a pain the first time I did it, uh, so I thought I might just make a quick lesson um, so that when you inevitably get yourself into trouble with the windows in sunlight, um, you can put them back as they need to be. Um, so I've got this all set up exactly how I want it now. Um, and it was a few goes before I worked it out, as I said. So basically we've got this window which shows me all of the different pages or um, sets of fixtures I have. So for example, uh, Intimidator is two moving head spotlights that we have. Um, this one here is my LH for Luther Hall, is the name of the hall. They are par 64s and they're three channel par 64s. There's actually 12 of those and they all sit within that um, one page. Um, and the corresponding page is selected here as well. So there's my par 64s and this is how I can operate them. Um, and that's the whole length of that. So this area as well as this area operates my par 64s. All 12 of them all at once together. My spotlights, again the LH is for the building that we have. Um, spotlights, so there's six spotlights within this page and you can see that they're highlighted here. So this is the area for using my spotlights. Here I have some pin spots. There's three pin spots in this group and you can see it's selected this. By the way, when I select each one of these, you'll notice that um, not only does it select the window that corresponds to that set of lights, but it also um, changes this area here. So this entire area here becomes um, an area that I can use to manipulate and change um, those particular lights. So even if I select them here, so there's my intimidator spots, this whole area now becomes an area for my intimidator spots. Or if I click on my spotlights, this area becomes an area for manipulating my spotlights. Same thing if I click, hit, click here, there's my par 64s, and so on and so forth. Um, so moving these windows around, basically if I wanna move them around, I can just click on the top and move it around like you would any other um, Windows program, except that um, you'll notice that these little buttons come up to each side and they sort of help me work out exactly where I want to put it. So I can put it in the top half underneath that or above or to the side. Um, you can even put a window inside another window. So remembering I've got my Intimidator spots selected, I could put it inside Master, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can see now they're sort of within the same thing and then I just flick between them here, which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try and put that back now. So I put it right over the edge. So just hover over the little button there and now it's part of this area here. Um, I did have two here which were quite small and I wanted to put one over the other. So what I did was I put it inside here initially. So I had the two side by side um, and then from there I can select it again and then use the down arrow and put it there and now I've got one above the other that way I'm not using two whole strips up like that I suppose and I'm ending up with all this blank wasted space on my screen instead of doing that I'm combining them together and then just putting one above the other so that I'm saving space on my screen because it you know there's a lot going on here and I need to be able to see as much as possible and then I can change sort of the widths of these to suit so that I'm making the most of my screen. Put that one in there, put that one in there. Squeeze him in. And the intimidators take up a lot of space, obviously, so you want to make sure that you can see everything, if at all possible. Nearly went over some of those. And that's basically it. So that's the changing the windows. Um, this master one here, you know, do you need it? Well, not most of the time. So you could actually just close that one and that gives you a bit more space as well. That's another option for you. All right, good luck with that.